Uh, this year's Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize has been awarded to a Dutch microbiologist for his contributions during the pandemic relating to studies of wastewater and how often and why diseases occur. Professor Hertchen Medema's research revolutionized virus detection in wastewater when COVID-19 emerged. Now, it established wastewater surveillance as a cost-effective way to detect early and track the virus. At the start of the pandemic in Singapore back in 2020, the authorities then explored this as an early warning system for outbreaks. Its coverage include workers, dormitories, residential homes, as well as student hostels. Today, the sampling network covers more than 500 sites in the country and has been applied to monitor for Zika transmission as well. And we have this year's Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize winner with us, Professor Herchen Medema. Welcome. Thank and joining you. us as well in the studios is Ryan Yuen. He is Managing Director of the Singapore International Water Prize. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Medema, first of all, congratulations Thank you very much. Uh, for the recognition of this outstanding work that you've done. Singapore, of course, was one of the first countries to adopt uh, the uh, wastewater monitoring yes. system during the pandemic. Can you explain to us, give us a reminder of what wastewater uh, sort of uh, monitoring epidemiology is all about, how it works? Okay, yeah, well, um, the, the, the principle is very simple. Everybody goes to the toilet. Uh, so people with symptoms, people with uh, out symptoms, but everybody in the population that carries the virus, uh, sheds the virus into the wastewater and um, we d discovered that if you test the wastewater and you see an increase in the in the signal strength in wastewater you that coincides with an increase in the number of cases and same with a downward trend so we saw that it's a very good way to track and uh, uh, what is happening in our communities with just one sample at the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, yes, you recognized very early on that early detection and monitoring amid the COVID-19 pandemic was going to be important. I think at one point we wondered whether it was a waterborne disease as yeah. well. So that kind of ruled that out too. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the inspiration of, of, of why, you know, what led you to sort of wastewater sort of monitoring. Well, the, the, uh, actually, exactly what you say, the, uh, we were first sort of worried uh, that the virus could be uh, transmitted via water. So we wanted to see if that was the, the situation and we tested the, the wastewater and we quickly learned that this virus is not waterborne. But then we observed, hey, um, we see the coincidence of the signal strength increase and the case increase. So um, th that led us away from the virus safety to uh, collecting information on virus transmission from the wastewater. Ryan, uh, let's bring you in on the conversation sure. here. Can you explain to us uh, the significance of this research by Professor Medema in addressing current water challenges that we have? You know, the Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize uh, was established as a prize to recognize contributions like Professor Medema in helping to solve the world's water problems. And so Professor Medema's um, protocol in wastewater surveillance has future applications as well beyond just COVID and you know to, and during the event in Singapore International Water Week that will be the opportunity for us to talk a bit about how we can apply some of his programs and protocols to help expand and further the use of wastewater surveillance as a tool. Yeah, there is a lot to learn about a community's health when it comes mm -hmm. to wastewater epidemiology and, and, and actually monitoring. But there must be challenges as well. There's a lot of data. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a large quantity uh, to actually look through. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if, if a visitor would come to Singapore, uh, you wouldn't be able to necessarily learn very much from just that one person. But Tell us something about the challenges with this particular technology. Yeah, I think um, you're right. We, the, uh, the, the tool is not designed to find an individual that is shedding. The, the tool is looking at the community and see what is, what is circulating in the community. And um, so, uh, but that has also been uh, the strength. Uh, you can um, do the whole community uh, at a wastewater treatment plant. So. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people, or you can zoom in on dormitories. Uh, so it's a very agile tool. Of course, um, there are challenges in the sense that 
Uh, if we look at other parts of the world, uh, many people don't have a sewer system that they are connected to. Um, but it's nice to see also that also there, uh, researchers and institutes have been inspired by this protocol and, and uh, try to adopt it to their setting. Um, so they are using uh, drain water in, in, through informal settlements or rivers uh, as a sort of an alternative way to uh, use this tool still in their, uh, their setting. Right. It's a type of fingerprinting of, of the water. Yeah, and, and via the water, fingerprinting of the community. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, on the issue of fostering innovation and what we're trying to discover here, yeah. there are a series of things. So there are the known sort of knowns, there are known unknowns, there are unknown unknowns That's as right. well when it comes to all of that, that knowledge. Um, it, it also takes a lot of money. Yes. Uh, to actually sort of get th this innovation up and running yeah, and the right. commitment to it as that's well. Right. So what is being done as far as that is concerned? What is the landscape like? You know, you are totally right to say that, you know, innovation requires a lot of research, a lot of effort. And so the Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize really tries to recognize the efforts of some of the researchers and like Professor Medema and, and, and really promote the, the, encourage the next generation of researchers to really push the boundaries in trying to discover what you know, what you say as unknown unknowns. Yeah. So in the story uh, uh, with regards to this water prize, I understand that the technology is also being used to discover Zika mm -hmm. as, as an example. Tell us about the potential applications of, of what the method can do beyond what it can already do now. Yeah, and even though I was sort of at the cradle, I'm, I'm still amazed by how uh, it is expanding and how we learn that more and more infectious diseases can also be traced through the, uh, through the wastewater. So uh, we do, in uh, many parts of the world, uh, uh, researchers and public health agencies are exploring uh, what, what else we can see. In, uh, in wastewater and it turns out that there's quite a lot we can see and then of course the question is you you asked about the money um, what, for which uh, diseases parameters is it worth looking in wastewater Wh where's the added value of looking into wastewater and I think uh, we are um, for the pandemic it was pretty clear uh, for the others we are exploring I think you mentioned Zika where it was a good example of a good use case uh, um, but uh, and the, it could be tuberculosis, it, it could be uh, antimicrobial resistance, uh, where we are exploring further, uh, which could be the next. And the nice thing is, yeah, uh, it, it all works with this one sample. Yeah, and perhaps also in the, in the broader scheme of things for public, where public health is concerned and, mm -hmm. and the sort of future landscape of that as demographics change, we have a, an aging population mm -hmm. as well. Do you see applications there too? Yeah, I think um, you can uh, look at the, these different uh, health factors uh, that are also uh, showing up in wastewater and things like pharmaceutical use. Uh, so there's, there's a lot to explore. Uh, and as I said, we need to find out where uh, is the added value. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming into Very the welcome. studios and uh, talking about this. And congratulations once again, Professor Medema. And thank you, Ryan Wynn. I've been speaking there to Professor Hurchin Medema, this year's Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize winner, and Ryan Yuan, MD of Singapore International Water Prize.